Hello everybody. How are you doing? Hope everybody's doing good tonight or today or this morning, whichever way you're looking at this. Uh, my name is Wendy Morgan and I'm here today to talk to you about muscle testing. Why would you want to learn muscle testing? Because you can learn more about you. You can learn about more how to remove particular programs that are running the subconscious and that's making you decide certain things, but also creating obstacles when there shouldn't be any obstacles but also generally to go ahead and have some fun with your body and ask it questions such as, should I have spaghetti tonight or a salad? Thank you very much everyone again for joining me again. My name is Wendy Morgan and I'm a spiritual mentor. I help you learn how you can tra traverse this particular time of ascension, moving through and ascending into higher vibrational uh, frequencies and energies, how to do that with ease and with grace, learning more about yourself and how you can remove some things to make it easier for you just the same. And also a little tap or a little finger on the pulse as to what's going on. So today I'm going to make several videos. So if you look at my other videos, you're going to see me dress the exact same thing. And that's because I'm going to make several videos in a row. So muscle testing. So muscle testing is generally used with physical therapy and chiropractic care. And they use it, or physical therapy basically uses to learn if there's a muscle weakness and therefore like indicates obviously nerve intervention or um, yeah, if there's a problem with nerve intervention or whatnot. But it's also using chiropractic care also for the previous reason, but also so that they can ask different questions of the body. The body is extremely intelligent. And if you don't think so, well, when was the last time you decided when to take a breath or make sure that your heart was beating or that then the blood was pumping through your veins and your digestive um, function was consistently moving? You aren't, right? The body's constantly doing it and working it. And it's very, very, very intelligent. It holds all your emotions, it holds your thought vibrations. So it really knows you actually sometimes way better than you know yourself. So we're going to tap into that knowledge and we're going to ask it questions. So therefore we can learn more about ourselves. And I'm ultimately sharing this information so you can learn more about you and where your programs are. So you can remove those programs. Programs um, are things that we've learned through our childhood. Um, when you're zero to 15 years of age, you're in a particular brainwave state where you're simply just absorbing information. And all the information that you absorb around you is um, registered into your subconscious as truth, whether or not it is true or not true. For instance, a child growing up with a abusive parent might therefore think that sex of that parent, they have the inability to love. Hence, they might put to a program that particular sex has an inability to love and therefore never trust that particular sex. So, this is a program that's not true. That was just for that one individual, not for the full you know, scope of the population. So these are really good ways to, again, remove programs. Also removing program of lack of, you know, a lot of us are struggling. A lot of people, or a lot of people are struggling when it comes to finances and they're not finding opportunities. Opportunities are not finding them. Their finances are not improving. So hence, you need to find out where that lack of mentality lies. And it's not just one thing. If it was one easy thing, my gosh, we'd all be there really quick. Your body, again, is made of 60 trillion cells. And I can guarantee you have just an equivalent amount of programming. You don't have to go ahead and remove 60 trillion programs, but you do have to find the bottom card so all the deck falls for different subjects. So with that being said, let's go and jump into muscle testing. So muscle testing, there's several different ways. I'm probably going to share about six here. I really don't know. I'm just going to kind of go over them. And through that, uh, through that muscle testing, you can practice each and every single one of them. You can use all of them if you want, or if you find a simple one that you really love the most, you can use that the most. I think I kind of basically use them all at different times. So First of all, in order to go ahead and do any type of muscle testing, you have to make sure you are hydrated. So anytime before you do um, decide to go ahead and, and you know sit down and do some muscle testing and ask your body certain questions, make sure that you do go ahead and drink plenty of water. So we're going to go with the first type of muscle testing, which is using your hands. All right. So the, there's three different ways that I'm aware of as far as muscle testing. First of all, is taking your two fingers and put them together. These muscles throughout here are equivalent um, to bringing them together as well as pushing out. They're equivalently in strength. Um, so 
that actually goes for a different different muscle test and so I'll just stick with that so when you bring your fingers together and when you push your fingers apart it is the equal amount of strength so if I put my fingers together like so and I'm trying to push them apart like so I should be able to move them that means they're both really strong now you're not trying to beat yourself up your ego is not trying to go through oh, I'm gonna make this open no you're not doing that, okay? You're kind of removing yourself from the region and you're just coming forth and you're just generally trying to open and realize I'm pushing close, I'm trying to open with these hand and it stays nice and steady. If you push too hard with either one, chances are you're gonna strain your muscles. You're gonna end up with a little bit of tendonitis. Believe you me, I've done it so many times. So this is one way of muscle testing. So I can simply ask, my name is Wendy Morgan. I can't open them. My name is Joe DiMaggio. I can't keep them closed. I joke you not. I cannot keep them closed. So again, you can, so therefore I've, I got an answer. My name is Wendy Morgan. Yes, I can't open it. My name is Joe DiMaggio. I can't keep it closed. So that's a no, right? So I can ask, am I hungry? No. Do I want some water? Yeah, I do. I don't have a dry mouth right now. Um, let's see what else I can ask. Um, have I had a good day? Yes. Do I want to go to sleep? No. Do I need sleep? No. Okay. So that's a good, good example. So that's one way again, and I'm using this finger just because it's easier versus me putting that finger in. Uh, it feels more supported with my muscles. So I'm using the middle finger and the first finger again, inserting it and trying to push it apart. The second way is using your fingers here. There's two ways on this one. This one is I'm taking this top finger and I'm pushing down on this finger. Again, my name is Wendy Morgan, nice and strong, right? And again, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to overpower with this finger on top of my first finger. If I do, again, I'm going to get a strain and it's going to create dentinitis. You've got to kind of, you're like, you're asking, you're separating yourself from your hands and you're asking your hand. Is my name Wendy Morgan? Yes. Is my name Joe DiMaggio? No. Um, am I warm? Yes. Am I cold? No. Okay. So that's another, direct, another way. Um, the second way is keeping your finger straight out and just using your other finger to gently try to push down. My name is Wendy Morgan. Yep. My name is Joe DiMaggio. Nope. So here's your yes. Here's your no. Okay. Um, we're kind of going fast through these because once you get the hang of it, you understand it and then you can just kind of keep moving through it. Um, let's see here. The other ones are in your body. Uh, so one is when you're standing up. So I'm just going to use my hand as an example. You're standing up and you're just kind of relaxing and you're just, you know, you feel nice and comfortable where you're at. And again, you ask yourself, my name is Wendy Morgan. So this is the front part of my body and this is the back side of my body. My name is Wendy Morgan. I may fall forward and usually always fall forward. My name is Joe DiMaggio. I'll fall back. My name is Joe DiMaggio. I'll fall back. So this is my yes falling forward and my no falling back. Now, when you do any parts of these muscle testing guys, I want you to relinquish the perceived thought outcome of what is going to be yes and what is going to be a no for you because you can overpower it with your ego. Get your flipping ego out of the way. Okay. So allow your body to speak to you. It's just like if, if anybody came into your environment and you asked them a question, say, Hey, you know, what's the weather like out there? You're not, you're not going to immediately interrupt in there and go, Oh, I know it's sunny right? No, you're not. You're going to stop and you're pausing. You're going to sit back and let the person answer the question. So again, let your body answer the question. Really be disconnected from the outcome. Um, if you're really headstrong and you're um, very logical minded, you like myself, you can override it. So it's not here about overriding. It's not here about the ego winning. It's here for you to learn and for you to listen to your body. Okay. So again, when you're standing up and you ask a question and you, let's say you ask a question. I say, my name is Wendy Morgan. I fall back. That means I need water. So go drink some water. And I mean, not just like two, three sips guys, you need to drink more water than you think you ever really will need. We are moving. Oh, yeah, um, I just remembered something you talk about. We're moving into a time um, that we need more and more water. Water is the conduit and we're taking on so many more new energies and that water is being used up so quick. So you need a lot more water. So generally speaking, um, I'm sorry, I'm making notes. 
of my of another video. Um, so um, hmm. generally speaking, if you weigh 100 pounds, you take your weight, you divide it by two. So 100 divided by two is 50 and you turn it to ounces. So 50 ounces. Generally speaking, that's the way it was. You have to drink more now. So I would go ahead and tap on maybe another 10 percent. So maybe 55 ounces. Um, but do really drink water, guys. You, we all need more water. Okay, so, but just the same. So if I said my name is Wendy Morgan, I fell to the back, then that means I need water and I need to go drink some water. Um, if, for instance, and I'm going to turn my body as though I'm facing you, right? Now I said my, my name is Wendy Morgan. I went, or any other question, I go to the side. That means maybe. That means you didn't clearly ask the question. Or maybe you need to give that water you just got to drink in a little more time. Like sometimes I might ask, do I want Chinese food? I might go, maybe, right? So, okay, there's a lot of different dishes of Chinese foods. Probably some my body doesn't want and some my body does want. So re-ask re the question. Is there something within a Chinese menu that would fulfill my body with a nutrient stance and I'd feel really good afterwards. No, nope. hypothetically, or yes, hypothetically, right? So the, the one going to the side when you're standing, um, that just basically is mem maybe re-ask your question a little bit different and or let that water head give some more time or drink more water. Okay, lastly, the other way that I'm, last way that I'm aware of it, so that's is again with your body. And I'm going to have you do this with me today. So um, I'm going to say some things that are not going to be very comfortable, but I will get you back out of it, I promise. So first of all, I most of us have animals. And so I want you to think of that animal and its name. For those that you don't have animals, I want you to think of a place from your history, your experience, that When you think about it, it just it, it just feels so much joy. It feels so much love that you just felt so safe and you're so wonderful. Just a memory of how you felt when you were there. So, okay. So for those that are using the animal and the name, so I've got a cat and his name is Raja. And so I'm going to say, I love Raja. I love Raja. I love Raja. Now, you don't have to say this out loud. You can say this internally in your mind. Um, I'm going to put a pin in that because I forgot a step. So basically, I still want you to first just sit here, and I just want you to feel your body again, right? Sitting down, just take a nice deep breath. Just feel your body. Feel if there's any pain, tension, stress, um, you know, indigestion, uncomfortableness, tightness. You're just trying to pay attention to where your body's at so you have a baseline, okay? Now, we're going to say three times in our head, either I love and then the animal's name, or you're going to say I love, for instance, I can say I love canoeing and I'm thinking about going canoeing with my dad when I was a kid, okay? That would be a good example. So I'm going to use a canoeing because I already know what goes. So I'm going to say, I love canoeing. I love canoeing. I love canoeing. And I'm thinking about that image of when I was canoeing. And immediately I get a sensation to the front part of my body. And it feels warm. Sometimes it actually feels like it's in my heart and my heart shock. It feels very warm. And I go, okay, now this is the part you're not going to like, but we're going to revert it. Now I want you to say the same thing that you just chose a while ago, either pet or an experience and say, I hate that very same thing. So I'm going to sit. I hate canoeing. I hate canoeing. I hate canoeing. So I didn't even like saying that. Me, I felt go to my backside and went right around my solar plexus, kind of hung around the backside of my heart. Didn't feel good at all. So there, you just got indication of yes, when it was in the front part of your body and no, when it was in the back part of your body. So now we're just going to turn it around again and say, I love the very same thing. I love canoeing. I love, can love canoeing. Now that good feeling energy is returned. So there you have it. And I'm sure there are many other ways of muscle testing, um, but these are just a few that you can have and use. So if you are working with me, so I'm going to move my camera a little bit. If you are working with me, you know, we work with um, finding your programs. And after I've taught you how, such as this way through that of muscle testing and the way of removing it, which I'll be sharing that video as well, 
Um, you have to have, this is the techniques that you are going to use to find your programming. Um, so practice guys, practice, 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 get familiar with it, get comfortable with it. You know, sometimes you're like, you know, I know I'm hungry and I'm getting indication that I'm not hungry. Again, drink some water and again, relinquish yourself from the outcome. It might be, I don't want to eat because I want to lose weight, but my body is hungry. I don't like that answer, right? And so you've got to really relinquish yourself. So regardless of the answer, whether you like it or don't like it, you're going to be okay that you're just getting that answer. So for instance, um, I want uh, everybody to practice a little bit on anyone, on anything. So you can either do this method, pulling apart. Did I do that one? I don't think I did. So another method with your fingers is keeping them together, but looping them and then trying to pull apart. So my name is Wendy. My name is Joe DiMaggio, pulling apart. I think I did, but I don't know. But anyways, that's another method. If you have any questions about any of these and you're like, that's eh, not really quite clear, you know, comment below and I will, let's get in touch and kind of go over it privately. So, but anyways, um, so practice any one of these particular techniques with just general, simple things. You know, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. Things that you kind of already have an idea as to, you know, the truth of it. Go for things that you know, because you're trying to also create a bit of confidence within yourself. And then you can hit the bigger things, such as when I go to a restaurant, um, I look up the menu. And honestly, I just glance at every single row of the menu, presumably it's up or if it's in front of you, I glance at every single row. And then I say, okay, body, does this food look good for me? And when I'm in public, I generally use the one where I feel it in the front part of my body or feel it in the back side of my body. And I might say, does this row look good? Is this where you want? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Yes. Okay. Top three? Yep. Bottom? No. Okay. First one? Nope. Second one? Yep. Third one? Nope. So second one. All right. I want a Cobb salad. So I listen to my body that way instead of letting my taste buds and potentially candida, which is in your in your digestive system, be talking for you. If you generally want to always be reaching for carbohydrate type foods, such as wheat, which actually turns to sugar faster than sugar, or spikes your sugar faster than sugar, or if you're reaching for sugary foods, chances are your candida is speaking to your brain and trying to override that. So even though you're like, oh, but I really wanted that pasta dinner, it's probably your candida screaming at you versus you stopping and listening, okay, I know I wanted that pasta, but let's really pay attention. I want that Cobb salad. Okay. So I want everybody to practice these things. And once you start practicing, you can start with the list that um, hopefully I will give to you. I don't have the list as of yet as the general common things, but common things are I am loved. I am worthy. I'm enough. God loves me. I love myself. Um, I am. And it just goes on from there. So most people, I am worthy or I am enough. When muscle testing, they will get a no. And this is an indication of a program because I'm here to tell you guys, in case you didn't know, you are enough and you are worthy and you are loved and you are worth it. All of these things, yes. And because you believe otherwise is because somewhere, someone in your past, either from your childhood from zero to 15 or through traumatic a dramatic experience you were learned you learned otherwise that you were anything but being worthy okay and so what we need to do is identify these programs and then we're going to remove them and they're no longer going to bother you again isn't that beautiful so thank you very much for joining me today in this um, episode of muscle testing and again if you have any questions let me know and next we're going to go over how do you remove these things all right take care guys bye bye <music>